Well, not only is God cleaning out his church, but he's also cleaning out his schools. That's right. A pair of Christian boarding school founders arrested on multiple charges. What happened? What's the reaction been? We'll get into all the details here in just a second. Welcome, everybody, to Not By Sight News. Yes, a blind Christian guy here reporting to you and reminding you, as always, that we walk by faith, not by sight. Hey, for someone like me, that's kind of my only option, right? Speaking of that, for those interested, you want to hear my story. How did I go blind? How did I operate my entire ministry without being able to see? I made a video that explains it all, which I provide a link to in the description section of all my videos if you're interested in checking that out. Also, if God puts it on your heart to do so, consider making a generous donation here to support my ministry. A few different ways you could do that. One easy way, just click the super thanks button on the YT video here where you can make a contribution that way. Or you can join my Patreon for as little as five bucks a month, patreon.com slash not by sight news link in the description when you join up with patreon you're going to get all my videos before they ever hit the main yt platform you'll also get some exclusive links to these topics that we discuss up there that i got to include on patreon for obvious reasons while you're there too feel free to comment censorship free on all videos and even send me dms so check it out again it's patreon.com slash not by sight news link in the description big thank you to everybody already contributing and those thinking of doing so Thank you as well. Your generosity is greatly appreciated. Lighthouse Christian Academy is a Christian boarding school in Missouri, kind of close to the Ozarks there, and it's a part of ABM Ministries. It was founded by Larry and his wife, Carmen Musgraves. Now, they were both arrested on March 1st on multiple charges, which I'm going to get to here in a second. But I want to point out here that the school used to be co-ed, you know, going back to like, you know, prior to 2010. Uh, since then, however, uh, it was converted into a boys only school uh, from the ages of anywhere between 10 to 13 years old. And what they focus on here is really troubled, you know, teens or preteens in that age range. Uh, also, those who struggle with ADHD and other learning disabilities, which is what makes this story even you know, just more terrible when I got to talk about things like this, uh, because you're talking about taking advantage of students. And again, yes, some that have learning disabilities and other challenges. And that is exactly what happened here with the founders of the school. That's right. Larry and Carmen Musgraves, as I mentioned, they were arrested on March 1st. Now, Larry was arrested right there at the school. His wife, Carmen, was arrested several hours later when she actually went down to the police station to look for her husband, she was arrested as well. What are they being charged with? First degree kidnapping as well as inappropriate behavior charges. And I will be putting a link actually on my Patreon because it's going to go more in depth uh, as to all the shenanigans that went on here at the school. But they were not the only ones who were arrested. Also, another employee by the name of Caleb Sandoval was arrested as part of this as well for apparently roughing up one of the students uh, during an apparent boxing training class there, uh, taking advantage of the situation, and, and that was a giant mess. And again, you'll there'll be more on my Patreon about that. Uh, so he was arrested as well. He's actually the son of another leader of the school. Now, for both the Musgraves, they're being held in jail right now with no bond at all, and good on that. Uh, this investigation started a couple of months back uh, when a sheriff was doing an investigation actually uh, in Alabama. There was a former student that had reached out to him to inform him about the treatment of the students there at the school and how the founders and some of the other teachers were taking liberties with them. And again, I you know mentioned the whole roughhouse thing. Yeah, obviously, I'm saying that word for obvious reasons. There's another word that was actually done there in that case. So... Other students have now come forward and they've given their stories about what they've experienced at the school. And not only that, but we've also had reports of several runaways from the school. In fact, one woman actually gave a statement to a local outlet there talking about how it was one night in January. It was really cold. She said a couple students from the school had approached her and waved her down. They didn't have any jackets, nothing like that. And they said they had to get out of the school. They had to run. They had to escape because of what was going on there. It was anything but a school. They were treated almost as prisoners, really. 
So this is a major concern, and by no means is this the last of this. This investigation is ongoing, and police expect there to be many more, many more victims that are going to come forward here about their own stories, about what they've experienced here at the school. But this is not the first time that the founders, Larry and Carmen Musgraves, have been caught up in problems at the school, going all the way back to 2008, 2009. The principal at the time was arrested and charged for inappropriate behavior with a then female student at the school. And that ended up you know, being a $750,000 settlement that the Musgraves had to be a part of. This was a federal investigation at the time uh, as that whole thing played itself out. Look, this school and ABM Ministries, again, this they're still being investigated right now. To me, and this is not the first, you know, Christian boarding school or just Christian school in general, you know, that has, you know, been under fire for these sorts of things. But to me, this is not a safe school. And I can understand. You got all these, you know, students that are running away. Shut it down. Shut it down. The motives of these individuals here are not of God. They are not of the Lord. They have ulterior motives. Tried to take advantage of the students there. And look what's now happened because of it. This is in no way, again, a safe place for students to be. And remember, this is supposed to be a school that helps, you know, these, you know, preteens that have ADHD and other learning issues, troubled teens. A Christian school is supposed to be a light. I mean, geez, the name of the place is called Lighthouse Christian Academy. It's anything but a lighthouse, a dark house, whatever you want to call it, a house of evil. Shut the thing down. But again, I'm going to have more information on this over on my Patreon again, so you can check that out at patreon.com slash notbysightnews. I want to hear from you, especially if you are a parent that has ever had or currently does have one of your students enrolled here at Lighthouse Christian Academy. By the way, the website to the school was shut down after the arrests were made here of both Larry and Carmen Musgraves as well as Caleb Sandoval. And remember... This is probably not the last of the arrests. There will probably be more that are associated with this. Uh, So again, I want to hear from you, especially if you're someone, again, that had someone attend the school or you know of someone or just anybody else in general, your thoughts on this whole, whole ordeal. Thank God they were arrested. And remember, the exposure is continuing. Shut this thing down. What I want to do right now is something I do on all these videos, and that's end this video on hope. This is part of my ministry outreach. What this is is a altar call that I do on my videos. I've been doing it since 2016. No matter what it is that I'm talking about in the church and exposing the wolves and everything else, we always want to point people to Christ because we are in the last days. He's coming soon. The world is in turmoil right now and people are looking for answers in all the wrong places. We're trying to point them to Christ. So for anybody watching now, if you are somebody who has not yet received Jesus as your Lord and Savior and you would like to do so, I want to lead you in a prayer to do that right now. This is a prayer that you could do in your own words, but I will give you the steps you need to bring it before the Lord today. First thing you want to do right off the top, acknowledge that you are a sinner. That is something that we all are. The good news is that God gave his only son, Jesus Christ, to die on that cross for the sins of all the world. As he died and rose again for you and me, he paid the cost. What you have to do is repent of your sin, which means to turn from sin Not just to say you're sorry and then jump back to your old ways, but to actually turn from sin, which are those lifestyles, patterns, habits, behaviors, things in your life that go against the word of God. If you humbly go before the Lord, though, and ask him to forgive you, he'll wipe your sin away. And the Bible says he doesn't remember it any longer. And then you invite Jesus into your life to be your Lord and Savior. When you do that, you become born again, a child of God. You will have eternal life. Trust me when I tell you there is no greater decision that you will ever make than the one you do to give your life to Christ. And I pray you make that decision today. Again, more info down below. Don't forget the links to donate to the ministry are there as well. Join the Patreon for as little as five bucks a month, patreon.com slash notbysightnews, link in the description, or just hit the super thanks button on the YT video here to make your contribution that way. It's all a great blessing. Thank you all again so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you. And I'll talk with you soon.